fresh install of Avast. All standard settings, no specific settings, just out of the box. Not registered, you can see I added it a couple of days ago. Just for this specific video. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to uninstall my hybrid hub. totally remove it from my laptop I've got a new version so it's fixed most of the issues uh, although it might look untidy etc and as you can see I'm testing on XP which is the crappiest version to test on and it tells me most of the stuff that I need to do, so I'm going to remove that. So you can see how fast just picked it up straight away, analysing. I'll let that run. So you can see no problems are found, so this is an older version. And Avast actually didn't find any issues with it whatsoever. So in any case, I'm going to uninstall this version. So it's been totally removed. Okay. Now I do have my version on the USB, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to download it from the net. Just following the full procedure that you'd be doing. Please keep in mind you wouldn't be doing this, you'd be probably, you'd be, well, you'd be doing this but you wouldn't be sending them this particular link. You'd be sending them a link for, without the hyphen, so you can see I'm adding hyphen. Check I'm going to the actual right URL. Yep, and check the version I need. As with anything, we need to make sure the spelling is correct. And we're on 1.2.0.0.exe. You can see it's added it into me 
chrome with a significantly higher bigger file but you can see no problems whatsoever on my Avast, on my XP uh, Avast has got normal settings it's allowed me to download it straight away not problem, any issues whatsoever so just to show you Avast is live Mr. Rust. So if I minimize this, it's an old laptop, so it's a bit slow. Actually, it's considerably slower. But you can see here, a vast. It does say your system is secured. It is live. And you can see that it's done. I'm going to come back to that little message in a sec. You can see, whilst it's telling me we're protected, and this particular one is hide over is not commonly downloaded and could be dangerous. Um, obviously, that's an error. That's not an error, but it's a message um, for you to use as and how you want to. So, from here, we can use. Key, da, da, da. So I click on the learn more just to see why it's been required like that, just to show you. I know there's no issues with it. So you can uh, protect your computer by allowing Chrome to warn you about unusual or potentially dangerous uh, downloads. Some bad downloads can cause viruses, etc. etc. When phishing, then uh, malware detection is turned on, which is for my Chrome. Um, it tells you that it may be malicious, although it's not. You can see that um, a vast didn't give you any issues or errors, and it also gives you a little note here. I'll just show you that that's popped up just in case you think it's related to the download, which it isn't. It's actually related to my Firefox which is saying uh, install specific updates, so Adobe, uh, Java Runtime and uh, VLC Play which is what I've got installed, everything else is up to date, so I don't need to bother with that, just to show you that it wasn't related to Hydro Hub. Um, and going back to this, it says, no, you might also see a virus detected error, this error is triggered by your antivirus and is different from Chrome's malicious download warning, so we might get that. So that's just to show you why that message came up. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my copy that URL and I'm going to open it in my Firefox. And you'll have to bear with me. Um, there's quite a lot of open tabs on this one. Let's zoom out. So again, this is going to take a little while. There we go. I'll open a new tab. And we'll paste the same URL in there. And you can see asking me what I want to do, opening HydroHub EXE, what do I want to do, I want to save the file, so you can see it's now saving, and again a fast has not come up with any warnings, any issues, any errors with that. See, it's a pretty large file this time compared to one meg we've gone up to 23 meg to resolve the browser issues and the download issues so although it's uh, larger it's not humongous it's still significantly small so there you can see it's completed it and what i'm going to do is i'm going to open that and i'm going to run this now 
before I run it, I'm just going to close all my browsers. So back in Chrome, so no longer need that. I can get rid of. Uh, it's telling me downloads currently in progress. Uh, do you want to exit and cancel the download? Yes. And we're coming onto the main screen now. So I just. So now we've downloaded, no problems whatsoever. This is the latest 1.2.0.0.exe. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to run this. And you can see I've got a little check mark here saying always ask me uh, before running this type of file. So that's just uh, standard. I'm now going to run this and see how it what happens with the last. See install so it's come up straight away, no problems with the vast whatsoever. I'm installing. And again this is an XP laptop. Now you can see a vast has come up. Saying scanning the file just to make sure there's nothing malicious. It's gonna take about 15 seconds. And you can see it's analyzing the Hydro EXE. Just to make sure it's not got any malware in it or anything, so we're allowed to read that up. And the last is finished analyzing the file, no problems found, and everything's died. Aha! So there's one particular issue. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to run HydroHub again, so it's in my downloads. It's actually come up this time. I'm going through my standard procedure and you'll notice I've not turned off Avast. Avast is running. The system is secure. So I've not turned it off just to show you and I've not cancelled the video. Set the terms. Ah, now we need a product key, so I'm going to go into my licenses and I'm going to generate a new key. So, my new key 5D4 the See the processing it again I've asked no problems whatsoever. And I'm now installing it. So you can see it's cell completed, no problems, nothing wrong with the last. It's added my little icon in there, Hydro Hope. And I can finish. It's complete the successful successfully completed the setup. The fast hasn't been any warnings up and I can now begin to 
login. So again, the vast is coming up just to make sure. problems found and again this is happening because it's a bog standard um, Avast setup. I've installed it first time so that message shouldn't come up um, again and again it's only on the first time just to make sure Avast actually stores from what I can tell. Um, Avast actually stores from what I can tell info into their um, program files that has been checked. So that's it, so you can see it's come up, it's added a new version, um, no problems with the install. Um, if you do have a problem, uh, feel free to take a video like I've just done, forward me the video and then I can actually problem solve it because from my point of view, well, from my side, I've checked it with a number of uh, different antiviruses, uh, NOD32, which is ESCT software, uh, no problems with it whatsoever. AVG, no problems. McAfee, no problems. Norton, no issues. And you specifically said that you were running Avast, which is why I've done it on this video on Avast. And as you can see, no problems with Avast. So if you have any problems, um, take a video like I've just done uh, from start to finish. Don't miss any bits out, um, just like I did. Um, and then I can problem shoot. But I've seemed to, well, I have fixed the issues. And, um, We'll take it from there. Thanks.